All right, so again, we're still doing, dealing with example three here. And we just did this part here. We did, just did f of g of x. So now we're going to do g of f of x with the same two uh, functions here. All right, so again, we're going to do golf. which again is g of f of x. So golf or g of f of x. All right, so again with this, we're gonna label our outside and inside. So g of x this time is our outside function. f of x is your inside function. Okay. And just like we said for step one before, we're going to do the exact same for step one. So I'm going to pull that down from the top. All right, so I pulled it down. Here we go. <laughs> did that really fast. I got magic. I'm magic. All right, so with this part, we're going to write down the outside function, and that's step one. And then step two, we're going to take the inside function, and we're going to put it in for every x. So again, let's start off with the outside function first. So here, our outside function is g of x, which is 5x minus 6. So that's our g of x function. All right, now, we said here that we're going to take our g of x function, and we're going to take out the x pretty much, and we're going to put in that f of x function inside of it. So we're going to put the inside function into the g of x function, the outside And so here, the inside function is, um, what is it? Uh, 2x squared minus 3x plus 8. All right, so that's our inside function. All right, so we said, okay, first step is write the outside function out. And that's what we did here. And let me change these colors here so it matches up with our steps right there. There were colors for the steps. Oh no, not that one. No. It's supposed to be red here. It's supposed to be red here. And on the inside, it's supposed to be green. All right, there we go. All right, so we took the outside function, wrote it down. We took the inside function and put it in for every x. All right, so then the last step we said was to simplify it down. I'm going to put that right down here, step three. to simplify it down. Simplify. All right, so when we simplify, that means we're going to distribute. And this on this time, we're going to distribute. We don't actually have to do FOIL or anything because there's no x squared or anything. So we're good. All right, so we're distributing that. It gives you 10x squared minus 15x plus 40. Minus the 6. All right, so we did that part. So multiply that. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 5 times 8 is 40. All right, and then the last part is, again, simplifying it by combining like terms. So our like terms here, I guess it's 10x squared minus 15x plus 34. So our g of golf, or g of f of x, And with this, you don't have to do it for the whole thing. You don't actually have to write out the whole thing of g of f of x and golf. You can just write down one of them, depending on what they give you. So in this problem, they gave us golf. So technically, we should have written it out like this. But either way, it will still work. Just like the last example, we should, um, example part, the, the first example of this, where we did um, g of f of x fog. F of G of X, sorry, fog, not F of 
x. When we did f of g of x, we should have actually um, did that this way too. So this is what we're looking for. But again, g of f of x works too. All right, so that is it, guys. That's the g of f of x, f of, um, f of g of x. Now, with that, again, um, what they're going to ask you to do, for example, four, which is um, evaluating, they're going to ask you to take what we just did here and put numbers in for it. So that one's going to be quick, but yeah, it's, this is the hardest part there.